everyone, it's Gloria Sheree Henry. Oh, uh, when you need a coffee, just say hey, yes, this is Mug of the Day. We're going to be talking about my Spotify Wrapped 2021. I think that's what it's called. And I'll be making a coffee while I do that. <laughs> Here's my cute little sticky Kenwood. Who needs Smeg when you've got Kenwood? You know what, as long as it works and it's cute, I like it. Having said that, I really want one of those smeg everything. While that is going, I will read to you a few things. I think what I'll talk about first is my audio aura. Um, so my top music moods are bold and confident, which I found interesting, but I guess, I don't even know why. I thought it would be like crybaby and petty or something, but bold and confident, maybe that's code for it. Also, if you're wondering where I got these little headbands, tomorrow's video, video, video will have all that. It's cute, it's cute. In the meantime, you can just look up Aki Shop on Etsy. Not sponsored, just love her. So what we've been using because I accidentally bought it is this gigantic thing. And it's really smooth, but I, it's not my favorite, but I like it. So how I mix my stuff, there's some sugar, there's some instant coffee, and there's a bunch of that Cadbury's hot chocolate. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in. I did this last year. And you just mix it just a tiny bit so that it kind of like turns into a small little batter thing. Not batter, I don't know how to describe things. But basically what you're trying to do is cream it like you would butter and sugar if you're baking. And that hacks it. I don't know how true that is. I don't know science. But you know what? I just like to do it. In case anyone's wondering, I almost just put this back in the fridge and it's empty. But <laughs> um, Oatly, the best. Um, but the barista one is better than the best. Um, but also, Califia is also good. Very good. Like, just don't drink Alpro. Do not drink Alpro. There's nothing like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that I don't like it. Um, so, I want to know what your moods are, your, your Spotify auras, what your top five whatevers, and like what your favorite song was. Because I don't think necessarily the top five will have your favorite song of the year. Because maybe you just didn't listen to music as much as you did, thought you did. I only listened to 7,000 minutes worth of music this year, which doesn't make sense to me, but it's okay. It's fine. We've got other things to do other than listen to music. First, my top five genres. Number five is soundtrack, which makes a lot of sense. I still listen to the Far Cry 5 sound, excuse me, Far Cry 5 soundtrack. Um, because I just think the cult music is so clever. Anyway, you, if you have watched or if you've played Far Cry 5, you'll understand. It's just so good. Number four is Boy Band. I have been listening a lot to NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and just all the really nostalgic stuff for me lately. And it's just nice, it's been fun because I noticed like in the top 50, there aren't many songs currently that are grabbing my attention, but there have been a few. Um, number three, show tunes. Are you surprised? Number two, K-pop, of course. Uh, number one, dance pop, which I just love it. Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna tell you my top five artists. Number five, Taylor Swift. Number four, Blackpink. Number three, Britney Spears. Two, Rina Sawayama. And number one, BTS. <laughs> which leads me to my next thing. I have listened to Butter for 618 minutes. Just the regular butter, not even the other ones, not hotter, sweeter, cooler, none of those. Just butter, 618 minutes. My most listened podcast this year is Hello from the Magic Tavern. I listen to it every week that there's an episode. And I even listen to their extras and now they're funded by Patreon and I'm just like, yeah, I would like all the bonuses. And I really liked the whole, you know, your life with 2021 was a movie. This is what your, and you were the main character, this is what your soundtrack would be. So, um, opening credits theme, Cherry by Rina Sawayama. As a bisexual, 
love it. I also just discovered her this year because my friend Andrew um, played one of her music videos and I think it was Lucid Dreams. It was during one of a little hangout and I was like, oh, this is cute. And then I listened to her whole album, which had some amazing music. And my favorite one is STFU on that. And Cherry wasn't on that album. Otherwise, Cherry would have been my number one. But um, anyway, the dance off will be Butter by BTS. The Big Kiss, maybe 14 year old me, 10, I don't, how, I don't know how old I was when the song came out, but maybe 14 year old me would be really happy if Your Body is a Wonderland was the song that was for the Big Kiss. So my top five songs, as you might be able to guess, number five was Pop Stars by KDA. Um, for Uhi Vai, and that was a song I was trying to learn for Hula this year, or dance, and then doo -doo -doo -doo, and then Cherry by Rina Sawayama and Butter. I really do think that Butter is my song of the year because it's just, there's not much depth to the song. It's basically just Jimin going, to be honest, I just, I love that part. We have also watched that music video a million times and Ali and I will have a lot of like their music and their music videos, which I'm surprised actually on, was it on here? Because, on my BTS, because that music video we watched over and over and over and over again because it's just so good. Also, if you're a K-pop fan, please um, give me a list of songs, music videos, all the things you would like me to watch. Don't link though, because it might be marked as spam. Just give me the names of the artists and the songs. And I'll have a listen because I want to broaden my horizons. My K-pop playlist only has like 20 songs on it. Those are just my favorites, obviously. But I want more! I want more! Also, just real quick, the charity stream is on December 11th at 12 p.m. GMT slash 7 a.m. EST. I was gonna say PST, but it's EST. 4 a.m. PST. Um, so come along to it. It's gonna be 12 hours long. We're raising money for the Glasgow Children's Hospital charity and all of the donations that go through a link what? There will be a link in my description and during the stream that the money goes directly to the um, charity through Tiltify. So there will be links down below. Try and raise 2,000 pounds this year. So if you can, if you got a spare dollar, spare pound, all the things, consider donating. I will go into depth about this later, but this is a really quick one. Top tips for new Dead by Daylight players. This one's from Neve. Both of these questions have been from Neve. Hi Neve. Playing killer is really scary in my opinion. It's more scary than playing as a survivor because as a survivor, you at least have a team. If you're a killer, you're playing on your own and it's scary because sometimes they just, the survivors are really mean. They'll jump up at you. They'll teabag you. <laughs> Lots of stuff. It's a very fun game though. As long as you make sure that you're not purposefully being toxic to hurt other people's feelings. I hate that sort of thing. But starting with customs matches, Survivor would probably be the best way to start. But if you play as killer, you will understand how each killer works. So when you play against them, there will be some counter moves you can do. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. And I will talk to you all later. Happy Vlogmas, bath.